Hey everyone, a few weeks ago I had a Volvo XC40 2024 with the big battery uh, here as a press car and I did a little charging test and today finally, weeks later, I can show you a comparison between the old charging curve of the XC40 till 2023 and from now on what you get. It's a different battery, it's a bigger battery, before we had 75 kilowatt hours usable, now it's 79 kilowatt hours and we have a new charging curve that's also better. I will show you the charging screen at Ionity where it charged from 12 to 80 percent. Then we look at the curve compare it to the old curve important as always with this video is how uh, how long do you charge is there a dip where it goes down and so you have to leave so you don't spend too much time at the charger because the charging power is so low we're gonna see that all important is also i have charged two sessions with this battery once with an xc40 twin and once with an c40 single they have the same battery and uh, amazingly they also have the exact same charging power at the state of charge where I cut. So you see a video of the C40 first where I started at 13% charging to 70% and then it will cut to the 70 to 80% in the XC40 but it's the both have the same charging power there. And we will see the charging power of the new battery is amazing, stays extremely high to uh, uh, above 100 kilowatt for a long time and then also fine and then at a certain state of charge it will go down but it's a good state of charge where it is so let's dive in this video is supported by Maingau Autostrom. With Maingau, you can charge at over 500,000 charging stalls all over Europe you can start your charging process with the app with a card or with the chip chip is pretty small and you can put it on your keychain if you need that that's pretty neat i like that a lot that you don't need to go into your wallet to get a charge charging card or you have to go to your phone this is just tiny can use it just very simply here at ionity i start charging at 13 percent here with the c40 208 kilowatt is the peak goes down right away to 180 and then goes further down to 160 but then back up for a short time and so it jumps around a few times like this. Voltage is around 390 volt at 25%. And we, and we went from the 13 to, to 30% now in six, uh, even five minutes. We have charged uh, 15 kilowatt hours really fast. The voltage just went, no, the voltage is already at 421, 422 volt. So the voltage is way higher than, for example, in the ID7. This is very similar to my ID3 with the 58 kilowatt hour battery. That's great voltage. That's awesome when you charge at 50 kilowatt chargers or 150 kilowatt chargers. That's really awesome. At 45%, we still have 137 kilowatt. Uh, now 130. And you can see it always does this a bit down, a bit up. At 50%, still around 130 kilowatt. That's just awesome. That's awesome. That's what we want. We want 10 to... 70% good charging power, maybe even to 80, that when you do, do a long distance trip, you get amazing, uh, a lot of energy into the battery in a short time, almost at 60%, still above 100 kilowatt, 100, it was 116, went down to 110, now at 112, and it will go down under the 100 kilowatt, I think it was 70 something percent, or a bit before, where are we? 104 kilowatt, almost 450 volt. There we go at 67%. It went under 100 kilowatt. That's really good. That's an, an awesome number to have. Then I switched. And since I at the XC40 charged, I started charging at around 12%. We have more kilowatt hours now here. But in 25 minutes, I charged 55 kilowatt hours in there. We're at 74% and 60 kilowatt now. As you can see, when you are under 100 kilowatt, Kilowatt, it goes down very fast and now at 75% we're already under 50 kilowatts so this is the time where you leave um, because we'll see at 80% we then have 44 kilowatt and then after that it gets slower and slower and Volvo cars don't charge them above 90 kilowatt it takes a long long time don't do that so when you're home of course but when you are uh, traveling somewhere charge to the 80% maybe 85 but then that's it but uh, awesome that it charges above 100 kilowatt to 67% 
If you want to follow me on Instagram, betterlife1. And if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's channel membership. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much. Here we have the curve and this is the curve of the XC40, so not the C40 that we saw from 12 to 13 to 70 percent. And here the jumps up and down weren't that strong, but still at the beginning we had our 202 kilowatt, on the other one we had 208, so maybe it wasn't that warm, but down to 170, 165 and then back up to 173 kilowatt. And as I said, under the 100 kilowatt here, again, it was the same, it's just it's at the same time, 67 percent it goes under 100 kilowatt and then we have the few steps down to 60 and then down to 47 so i would leave around here 70 to 72 percent is the time where you should leave and it's a great charging curve i mean that's awesome that you have 100 kilo kilowatt to 67 percent that's a lot of energy that you can charge into and now important let's see how the difference was to the old car and here they are, the red one is the new version and the blue curve here is the old version 2023. A smaller battery, 75 kilowatt hours, peak was 150 kilowatt and again this is the same battery before and now than the Polestar 2. The Polestar 2 2024 also has this battery and also has this charging curve and as you can see up to 70, where are we? 70, that's the 71, 72 percent. The new charging curve is always above and by a lot. I mean, here we have 50 kilowatt, here is still 15, but here that's always 15 to 20 kilowatt more, here even more, above 40 percent. And as you can see, back in the day, uh, it was even before that the Volvo charging curve was doing this. And um, I say it again, uh, don't charge your Volvo too high, so uh, at a fast charger if you have to go on, not above 80% or even 90 Even back then we had those jumps, but they were a bit later. They were here at 81% going down from 54 to 39%. Now it's at 70%, but you get more power until then and that's better for long distance driving as long as there are chargers that you can reach from with 70% state of charge. That's important. But as you can see, awesome, really good. And now we put in the Volkswagen ID7 as well. And I don't do it because I own the ID7 and I want to show it off. <laughs> it's just a car that's very similar. Again, 77 kilowatt hour battery to 79 that the Volvo has and the Polestar. Um, and also charges with ar around 200 kilowatt peak is 192 and as you can see here um, in the beginning volvo is better than the id7 is a bit better by 10 20 uh, kilowatt and then at 60 percent they're almost the same and then where the volvo is going down the uh, ID7 stays very linear. And as you can see, that, that's the difference in those curves. ID7 goes up a bit because the voltage is lower and so the CCS standard and Ionity is maxed out at 500 amp. That's why in the beginning the charging power goes up and up and up because the voltage is under 400 volt where the um, Volvo battery or Polestar battery has, has higher voltage and doesn't need the 500 amps to get to the 200 kilowatt and so it doesn't max out the CCS standard and then from that moment on when we have the 500 amp uh, peak here, the 191, 192 kilowatt, it goes down very gradually and linearly so in the ID7 you don't have the thing where it tells you you should leave now, it doesn't make sense to stay longer with what you have in the Volvo. Uh, there you can go whenever you want but you still have a limit and um, it goes under 100 kilowatt at around 65, 64% so next to 67 as the Volvo. So again very similar but again in the ID7 you don't have a time uh, state of charge where you say here you have to leave and sometimes I like that <laughs> that you know I charge to 70% and then I leave that's my limit I, I don't stay longer because it gets slower and slower but you don't have a a line where it says where you know I should leave now but again awesome charging curve from the Volvo that's amazing and also what I have noticed so the old 
um, uh, Volvo 2023 took 39 uh, minutes from 10 to 80 percent the Volvo now takes 34 minutes so five minutes faster even though it's a bigger battery that's awesome but that's it for me thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care bye